Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over the rush event. I'm bringing my three point shot hunter, my three point shot hunter to the um, 1v1 rush event. Now, before the video starts, if you're new to the channel, all I'm asking you to do is leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit the bell so every time I make a video, you guys know about it first. Um, if you don't know what I do on this channel, I do a lot of things, but mostly when I'm on 2K and shit, I'm as of right now for NBA 2K24, I'm just commentary over gameplay, having commentary over gameplay. For NBA 2K24, so if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and leave me a like and subscribe on the video. Alright, so today's video, I'm gonna be bringing the best jump shot to the 1v1 rush event on my 3-point shot hunter. Yes, I'm bringing a guard build to the 1v1 event, and in this gameplay you're gonna watch, you're gonna tell, be able to tell, like, it's probably not a good idea, especially with all the centers and the back downs and the post scores that go to the 1v1 event. This time I'm gonna give y'all the jump shot before the gameplay. So the jump shot I was using in this gameplay is actually a custom jump shot with uh, Darius Garland and Ricky Rubio, which is two releases that I really, really think are really good releases by themselves. Um, Stephen Curry as the base as well. I feel like with Stephen Curry as the base, it's very fast jump shot that I'm able to shoot from anywhere. Darius Garland being a very quick, low release height jump shot release that was really fast and during season one was the absolute best release on the game. Point blank period. I feel like after that with the whole patches and shit that came out, the jump shot release was a little bit patched um, to where... The quickness of the jump shot actually changed, and the release of the jump shot is actually changed. So, I feel like um, it made the the animation still there, but the quickness of the jump shot and the time you release for the actual release itself is a little bit different. So, what I did was use the best jump shot of release of NBA 2K22-24 Season 2, which is Ricky Rubio. I put that as the release 2 and made a combo with Darius Garland. Having Ricky Rubio having that snappy-ass release with Darius Garland's, Garland's quickness at 90%, I think this is a very, very valid jump shot. And it's, it's, it's kind of the timing of Darius Garland in Season 1, making it the best jump shot with all that being said, go ahead and put the jump shot on if you are able to do that. I know, I understand the releases and stuff like that is different this year. So, you might have to tune your release depending on what, you, like, your height and stuff. But go ahead and do that. Go ahead and put that release on. It's the best release in the game right now. And you're going to see in this gameplay, I'm going to turn up. So, let's go watch this gameplay and see what I do with a three-point shot hunter in the 1v1 rush event. Alright, so here's the gameplay right look. We at the man. 1v1 rush event He's with my no three-point shot on her. Y'all seen cover. the jump shot I was Love. using? Go ahead and use that jump shot. But uh, let's just talk about a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about this gameplay that y'all gonna see. Because I'm gonna let y'all know right now what y'all about to see. Alright, so I missed this first shot. And I don't touch the ball for the rest of the game on God. Like, it's just a big man. He's gonna post me up the entire time we play. He's gonna post me up. Throw his lays, be a big man in the 1v1 court. You you know what big men be doing in the 1v1 courts, bro. He's just going to back me down over and over until he gets, like, I think he gets, like, 20 points. And then I have the biggest comeback of my life. So, really, we got to sit here and watch this boring-ass type of gameplay right here. You know what I'm saying? Post me up, lay. Post me up, lay. Post me up, lay. He's going to do it every time, bro. We're going to have to watch this until... He gets to, like, 20 points. I think I, I get, like, two during, like, in the middle of there. And then, like, he just, you know. I'm able, I'm surprised, like, with me being so small, though. Like, I'm I'm getting a little bit of the stops. Like, obviously, I'm not going to get the board over him. Because, one, I'm jumping to even get the contest. And then, two, I'm smaller than him. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm obviously not going to get the board. But I'm surprised that at my small ass height, I'm still able to, like, stop him a little bit. Like, you see me, like, like, con like contest and cause him to miss lays and shit. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, he just gets those animations to where I fall over off the back down. And he gets a free lay. 
but he literally does this the entire game and this is the struggles of using a guard in the uh 1v1 rush event because a lot of the centers this is what they do bro they just come they post you up get their lays and they free vc they free rep they free two times rep and shit like that um so i finally got the ball and i missed again bro this was my first game on and i wasn't like like used to the jump shot i'm not gonna lie i haven't played 2k in like a week and i had hopped on just for the event and i was like really rusty i'm not gonna lie this that that fade the like the mini magician 2 fade that i just shot inside the paint like i don't even know how i even made that i'm not gonna lie like i was not timing my jump shot right the entire time yeah, let's keep it up but you will see me turn up with the jump shot like, once he gets to, like, 20, I'm like, oh, nah, let me lock in. I'll get my timing down. And, bro, once you know the jump shot, you won't be missing, bro. I, I promise you, like, you'll be good. So, it's 10 to 2 right now. I'm trying to reach. I'm trying to get the ball somehow, bro. I know I was fucking up. I'm like, damn, bro, I can't just keep letting him back me down and all this. I'm going to use my fouls a little bit because, you know, at least I'm getting an attempt to try to steal the ball. At least. And then, he does this, I get the board. Oh, yeah. That's tough, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to get open. I'm not gonna lie, for a big man, he kind of had good defense. There's not too many moves I could use other than the speed boost to get open from him. But then I miss again, bro. Like I said, bro, I was mad rusty. I hopped on the rush event right after taking a break from 2K. You know what I'm saying? Like... I just hopped off a break, so prepare yourself, you know what I'm saying? I miss every attempt, I think, until he gets to, like, 20, bro. So, yet again, I miss. He's backing me down, gets a lay. Backing me down, gets a lay. And, you know, if I had a big man build, I'd probably do the same thing. I can't really hate, but my bit, like, I, I'm just not the bitch-ass nigga to make a fucking big man and take it to the fucking rush event, bro. I just don't have a big man. And if I had a big man, I'd probably be in the rush event with that nigga. I'm not gonna lie. But I definitely won't be backing down niggas like this, bro. Hell no. My ass gonna be sprint dunking on niggas. But this nigga, nah, he getting layups on me. And half the time, I'm stopping it. This is a shame. I'm not gonna lie. This is a shame. You big ass. Your body too big for you to be doing this, alright? Alright, so here, this is where we get to the good part of the gameplay, you feel me? Here, here's when we, we get lit, alright? It's 20 to 2. Remember that number, it's 20 to 2. I get another stop on this big man. I get another stop. He's a baby. Who's the baby? He's the baby. I'm really the big body for real. Let's keep it a buck. I'm really the big body. The way this nigga just got word. The way I just stopped him in the paint, got a board over him. With him being so much taller than me. That's crazy. I'm like, all right, bro, I'm locked. Got him jumping. Oh, yeah, I'm going. I'm in there for the lay. Lay me. Lay me. Lay me. You feel me? I'm in there for the lay. Uh, I'm like, all right, I'm missing my shots. You know what? I'm going to be smart. I'm going to take that lay, and I'm going to make sure I'm going to hit this one. I'm going to make sure I hit this one. Oh, yeah. Green bean, 27. I'm like, oh, now he kind of leaving me open. I'm like, all right, keep leaving me open. I know he's going to close out. Lay me. Lay me. When I take that little pause, when they're open, they always close out. And then I just, you know what I mean? I just go to the basket. So now he reaching. Oh, he's scoring a little bit. You see, I'm scoring a little bit. I got my badge. Shit. Scoring a little bit. I got my badge. You don't know what to do. He's, he's a little scared. He panicking. But, like, I'm not going to lie. I don't remember what I do with this badge. I think I miss. Oh, no, I'm, I'm greening. Never mind. I lied. I'm greening. Take over. What you talking about, nigga? Like, take over. Snatchies. Let me put my take over on. Uh, and uh, he's, he's up too far. Oh, jumping in the paint. Green beam. Stop it. Stop it. I know you're going to read that, bro. You up too far. I'm going to the basket. Oh, you, 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 you recovering? Jump at that boy. Jump at that fat boy. Oh, yeah, come back up. Laney, 
Blaney. Oh, yeah. Too easy. I was cooking him up, like. Cooking him up. You feel me? Cooking him up, like. It was 20 to 2. Now it is 20 to 17. Got you jumping again. I was out of stamina, though. I was out of stamina, but I got the board. I was out of stamina. I was out of stamina. TP on me. Chill on me. Chill on me. Because I was out of stamina right there. I got the board, though. Uh. Okay. Better not leave me open. I'm in there. In the pain. Huh, lay me. You big body. Yo, you too big for me to be laying it up on you like that, boy. Too big. You too big. Uh. Back out to the three. Close out? Nah, you're not closing out. Green Bean. For the game. What? Givey. Givey. And I was telling y'all, bro. I was telling y'all. This was my first game, right? So this is my first game on in weeks. And I'll get my first game in a rush event. Boom. And this is why I can't play. This is why I took a break in the fucking first place. Because 2K got so many damn problems, bro. They got too many server issues. Too much la uh, input lag. Or this other stuff, bro. They got too much problems, and it's really killing my vibe every time I play 2K, right? But you're going to see exactly what happens. So I win my first match, and this is what goes on for the entire event, bro. Every time I play the event, after every game, this would happen. After every game, watch. It's going to kick me out and tell me that the event is over, bro, when the event's not really over. Like, what, bro? Like, huh? Bro, I could even have fun on the event because the servers on 2K24 so terrible. I don't know how the servers get worse and worse, bro. Like, yeah, we get it. You added crossplay, but like, come on, bro. Your game should not kicking should not be kicking me off after every game I play, bro. Come on, after every game I play, it should not be kicking me off the game, bro. Come on, bro. Y'all got too many updates, all this other stuff, bro. You, you gotta fix this. But nah, any VC glitch, I make a, I make a V uh a custom shoes video, right? My shit get patched. Niggas in the comment, yo, this shit patched. I'm like, what? It's patched now. You lying? But they can't fix these servers. It's crazy.